How to use ConvertKit to send emails. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use ConvertKit as your email marketing software and if it's really worth the price. So let's get into it. First off, we're on the ConvertKit homepage and over here we're going to click on sign up for free and ConvertKit does have a free program uh, and you can only send up to 1000 emails using that, but it's still a pretty decent program. Now you're going to answer some of these very basic little questions and then you are going to enter your email and password so once i do that i'm going to get back to you guys in a second now once you have created your account this is going to be your basic dashboard and over here you can see these are some websites that convertkit recommends that you create to create your email list so people can subscribe to your newsletters your offers your discounts any kind of promotions that you're running or just a general email list via these websites so they do provide a pretty good category and selection of templates and it's pretty nice if you want to create a website for your email list specifically otherwise people would recommend that you use wix to create your website and just embed your email list in there as well but if you want to keep it separate you can create a website using convertkit as well now on the top you will see these five buttons so you have grow where you can create your landing page and browse your subscribers then you have send so you have broadcast sequences email templates and snippets then you have automate so you have visual automation you have rules you have integration and you have rss after that you have earnings so your products and payouts and then you just have a general learning tab. Now, if you go into sending, you can see that there are many different types of emails that you can send. If you go into broadcast, so broadcasts are gonna be the one-time emails that you send, and you can automate these as well, which is a very good feature provided by ConvertKit and MailChimp, another very popular emailing software, really lacks the automation part in emailing. So. In ConvertKit, the best point everyone always will tell you about is the automation. So if I could add a broadcast, maybe a one-time welcome broadcast. So whenever someone subscribes to my email, I want to send them a welcome note or a thank you note. And I can just add a template over here. So I can just change the subject line. I'm just doing this as a sample. You can add whatever content you want. And then you can continue. And you can add to which subscribers you want to add this to. So if you want your first 10 subscribers to uh, get this email, if you want all subscribers to get it. So depending on whatever kind of email that you're sending, you can just add a filter, you can add a group, and you can send set a time for when you want to send this email. So if you want to send this maybe on the 22nd of October, and you can also set the time. And you can see the calendar provided by ConvertKit is very easy and simple to use. It doesn't confuse you whatsoever. It's going to be a simple and clean layout, which is something that is very helpful when you're working with so much uh, data and so much information. So after that, you can also add some advanced categories, but that's totally up to you. So the preview text is basically the notification box text in a way, and that appears after your subject line in your inbox. So you can also set that and you can also add a internal note. So this will be displayed throughout the app alongside your subject line, but your subscribers won't see it. So that's going to be a, a note to yourself, basically. You can also preview the email that you have created and how it's going to look uh, after you send it to your subscribers. And now you're just going to click on, I haven't filled all of these categories. Just add whatever filter you want. Obviously, I haven't added any emails to my emailing list, so I can't do that. But you just click on continue and your email will be created. Now, after send... You can see you also have sequences, so you can create multiple emails that are sent in order. For example, if you have an online store and someone was browsing your product, they added their product to their cart, but they didn't buy it. So in that situation, you're going to go into sequence 
And then you're going to create an email sequence that follows along the lines of, hey, you forgot to purchase this item. And after that, if they still don't open that email and if they still don't buy that product, you're going to send a second email. Hey, we're offering a 10% off discount for this item that you wanted to buy. And after that, you're going to send a, hey, you forgot about this item. And then once they purchase it, you're going to send out a thank you note. So this is the uh, appeal of creating a sequence. You're not going to have to type these out every time. Once you create a sequence, it will automatically send depending on the user's action. Now, if you take a look at automations, you have visual automations. So you can create a very powerful funnel for your viewers or subscribers to view once you have automation. So there's a lot you can do with automations. Now, I would say if you're just starting out, you should first off browse their templates and look at simple emailing rather than going directly into automations. But if you're someone that really has used the platform a bit, if it's been a couple of days, if it's been a week, and once you're used to the platform, then I would suggest that you hop onto automations and start automating your stuff. So. You can see there are a few automations available. You can see over here, this is a follow up customers who don't purchase. You can personalize content based on survey results. You can um, advertise your product launch via email. You can host a webinar, a evergreen newsletter, or a evergreen product pitch. So if we take a look at the product pitch, you can see the course launch tag. Then you have your warm up sequence, your launch sequence. And after two days, you have your down sale. You have bought my thing and you have a content for buyers. And that is how the automation is going to work for you. And there are quite a few templates as well, but you can obviously create your own automations according to your own business needs. So maybe you are selling a service and you want to offer a weekly discount. So every week people are going to be sent out a automation regarding your launch or your service. So you can create a custom field and you can add what when this email is going to be sent out. So when a purchase is made or when a person joins your emailing list or if a tag is added. So that just totally depends on whatever kind of filter you want to apply. Obviously, you're going to go with custom fields and then add your custom field, uh, whatever it might be. Now, if we go back into grow, we can take a look at our subscribers and our subscribers are people that are present in our emailing list. And you can import your subscribers from another emailing platform if you were using something else. So if you're using Klaviyo or if you're using MailChimp, you can uh, import all of your emailing list to over here. Now. You can see it does, does provide you with bulk actions as well as single additions and subtractions. And you can see on the right side, you have your add subscribers list. So from over here, you are going to add your subscribers. So you can import a CSV, you can import from another provider, and then you can add a single subscriber. What you're going to do is click on add a single subscriber. And it's very easy. You're just going to add their first name. So let's add a first name. You're going to add their email and then you can include them in a certain um, emailing list if you want. If you have created any previous email list that you want them to be a part of. And then you're just going to click on save. And now you can see I've added my total subscribers and now I'm getting the overall analytics for my uh, subscriber list. And you can also see your deliverability, your purchases, your total subscribers, your average open rate. So how many people are actually opening up your emails? Then you have average click rate, which means how many people are actually reading the emails that they open. Then you have your total number of emails sent and then you have your daily statistics. So we're going to add another subscriber and then we're going to save. Now you can see we have our subscribers added. Now, whatever uh, email list that we're creating. So if we go back into sending, and now I'm gonna show you guys the email templates that are provided by ConvertKit, and we're gonna send a email template to our two uh, dummies that we've created. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on new email template, and then you're gonna add some standard emails. So for emails that are going to be repeated, you're going to make sure that you create a customized template according to those. So your welcome emails, your thank you for your purchase emails, your some more emails like discount emails. You probably have to add a, a why did you leave your cart email 
a reminder email. So all of those you're going to add to your template. So you can see there are a lot of designs. A lot of people opt for a simpler design. You can go for something a bit more fancy if you want. So we're gonna choose this design and then we're gonna change it up a bit and then we're gonna send it to our two subscribers. Now the good thing about automations and uh, templates is once you've created an email, that's it. You're not gonna have to work constantly on it and you're not gonna have to do work over and over again to create a email and send it and bulk options will provide you with a very easy categorization system as well. So let's just say we're offering a sale or maybe thank you for joining our email list like so and then you can add the rest of your content whatever it might be we're just gonna leave it empty and then we're gonna just add and now on the right you can obviously change the color the heading styles the paragraph styles the button styles footer styles so you can just customize it to your will but i won't suggest that you over design your emails because uh, no one is really expecting that and it can seem a bit too much if your email has flowers or florals or leaves or something that is too much for a email you want to keep it professional and you want to keep it clean that's the most important part now i'm just going to click on save now you can see our template has been created over here and we're just going to click on use this template and now this template is ready to send to whoever you might want to send it to so depending on the nature of the template you are you're gonna add a filter to who you're sending this to and that's gonna be it for um sending an email template yeah now this was a general overview of the convert kit platform and how you can start sending emails now i'm gonna compare the pricing on convert kit and uh, i'm gonna show you guys the different features that different price points are gonna provide you so if you take a look at the free version you can send unlimited emails to 1000 subscribers and you get unlimited landing pages and forums you can send email broadcasts you can sell digital products and subscriptions and you get free email support but on the creator version that is recommended by ConvertKit, you get, obviously you can increase the number of subscribers. I like to use a standard 5,000 for this. So 5,000 subscribers is a good estimate to compare prices on. So I keep it at 5,000. Now you're gonna get unlimited landing pages and everything that is on the free version. And then you're also gonna get free migration from another tool and you will get automated funnels and sequences. So you need to keep in mind that you're not gonna get any automations if you're using the free version. And on the Creator Pro version, you also get a custom Facebook audience, you get a newsletter referral system, you get a subscriber scoring and advanced reporting. So a Creator version is probably the optimum amount of tools or features that you need. And I think most people would suffice for the Creator version. The price is pretty decent for $80 a month and if you bill it yearly, you get two months free. So it's going to be billed up to $790 uh, yearly. And then that's going to cut out to be $66 a month. So that just depends on how long you're planning on using your email marketing service. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video.